What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be having a look at the grip attachment in the COD World War II beta. Keep in mind, this might change for the final build of the game, I'll be sure to do the testing once the final build comes out, and let you guys know if there's any changes, but as it is right now, I did a little bit of testing with a bunch of different types of guns, and I wanted to share my results with you guys today to let you guys know whether or not it's a worthwhile attachment to run. Alright guys, so what I did is I went into a war game mode and I went really far away from the fight, sorry teammates, gotta do my job here. And what I did is a wall test on very consistent distances every single time. It was from the exact same spot, shooting the exact same wall. And I did two recoil tests per gun. Now, I realize that is not a huge sample size, but I'm kind of working with what we have access to at the moment. I, we don't have access to private matches or anything, so I did the best I could with what I had. I did two recoil tests, and it'll still give us an indication of what's going on. Starting it off with the SMGs, I decided to go with one that has much higher recoil, so I went with the Wafa 28. And as you can see here on the left compared to the right, I had to double check this a few times. It appears that with the grip, at least in these particular tests, there was a little bit more recoil with the grip. So definitely grip wasn't helping in this case or not at all to a noticeable extent. As for the grease gun, I decided to pick this one because it has a different sort of recoil pattern. It's not one of those ones that just kicks like straight up really hard. It's more so one that kicks within an area and it kind of kicks back and forth, and it's kind of random within a certain area. And again, I had some not so great results with this. It appears that you aren't getting any improvement with the grip whatsoever on the grease gun. As for the STG, finally we do see a little bit of an improvement with the grip, but it's a relatively minor improvement, and I would just say looking at this, it's definitely not worth the grip attachment for that slight decrease to your recoil. One more gun that I wanted to test because I have been using this gun with grip a decent amount and I feel like it's really been helping me a lot. This is the M1 Garand. And as you can see here, we do once again see an improvement. Not a significant improvement, but we definitely see a bit of an improvement here. And I feel like I definitely noticed that in the game. So overall, it looks like grip is generally not really a worthwhile attachment, at least in its current state in the beta. Now keep in mind here, I'm not saying that the grip attachment is broken, I'm not saying that the grip attachment is actually adding recoil or anything. I'm sure technically it is coded to reduce recoil in some way. I'm guessing it's a very slight increase to your center speed and potentially a little bit of a reduction in your view kick as well. But the thing is, it looks like this reduction to recoil with the grip is just too small to account for the random variance in recoil in Call of Duty. So I'm sure that on a technical level, grip is always helping. It definitely is having an effect, it definitely is helping, but since every time you pull that trigger on a gun, every time you do that, you're going to get some sort of random recoil, that random variance is far too large to account for the reduction that you get with a grip. And because of this, I would say in its current state, grip is essentially useless. You're basically wasting an attachment point on the grip, I think it could use a little bit of work. Obviously, it is a fine line that they have to find with that grip attachment. They don't want it to turn every gun into a complete laser beam and have it a crutch attachment. But at the same time, having it as a completely useless attachment kind of sucks as well. And with that, we're going to wrap up today's video. I'd like to know in the comment section below, what guns have you been using the grip on in Call of Duty World War II so far? And after seeing these results, do you think you're going to swap that grip for something else or will you continue to use it? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.